on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Here. A lot of black men, yes, have been wrongly accused of crimes. So has a lot of white men as well. Are you from here? I was born in the great U.S. of A, man. I've been here all my damn life. You don't think there's any... <laughs> I don't think that there is any systemic uh, racial indiscretions in the court. Absolutely not. If typically when you are pulled over by the police, typically you did something wrong. You're especially blacks and blacks play and play this stupid game like, oh, I got pulled over. Nigga, your tags are expired. Nigga, you ain't got no damn license. Nigga, you got too much tent. Stop it. Why do we cap so much as a black people? When I picked up cycling, I was I'm a, I'm a marathon runner. When I picked up cycling, and one of my, a couple of my friends are in the chat right now, they could even say it. Niggas would purposely try to hit me and, and uh, run me off the side of the road on the bike road on the bike lanes. Black people break and uh, black people break the damn traffic laws. We gotta stop playing around. We commit crimes. Just admit it. If Jr. can put up them tweets again, and let's analyze them tweets together, and let's see what he said was factional, uh, what was factual, and what was a peanut base. Okay, I think uh, I think I talk to black girls when I don't. I can't believe. I don't what know what does OOMF mean, y'all? I'm sorry. Oh no. One of my friends. One of my friends. One of my friends. Uh, and then, so I don't know. That's I don't know what that share that means. But they said black girls are born um, knowing how to shake their asses. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If that means one of my friends, that means this is not his quotes. Then that's basically saying one of my friends basically said this, and it has quotation marks. Is that, is that right? I have to agree with that quote. Hold, 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 okay, hold up, hold up. I gotta agree with that. Now the thing is, is this right? It's it's facts to this. Yeah. Right. We can sit here and get emotional, but guess what? The behavior will still consist. This is a factual tweet. Yeah, it is. We see it all the time. We see it all the time with the with the chicks in there. And did, brunch. Did, uh, did, did the uh, parents just have a twerk off at a high school gym? And so we see, know how to shake your ass is no, somehow wait, 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 wrong. Lady, it's not wrong. Up. It's a part of wait, black culture. Hold on, okay. Hold okay. Exactly. I'll, I'll get it out. Then I go ahead. Right. Yeah. See, I can lose emotions and deal with the facts. I can see that's facts to that, and I got a daughter. Mm-hmm. And I can I can see him say you won't do that, but as a society, it exists in a black culture. This exists. You can you YouTube, TikTok, Instagrams. Moms is twerking with their kids. This exists. So we got to deal with the facts. That doesn't make him nothing. That's his thing. And his last one, it was merely his preference. He prefer white titties over black titties. Yeah. Obviously, he would because. He like white women. Oh, go, go. And then he said, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, nigga. Okay. Right. I yeah, I just wanna... The way black girls disgrace themselves on TV. Is this a fact? No, nah, that's yeah. a fact when they be yeah, fighting the argument. Yeah. 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 It's that's a fact. why I said his preferences didn't offend me. Yeah. That's no, 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 no. Uh, we talking about this tweet right now, baby. That tweet that JR just put up. Is that a fact or not? That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, okay. Oh, every reality that's that's why I said the shit didn't is bother me. Now, now, horrible. I'm gonna wrap it up. Like, wrap it up now. Of us. Now, now I'm gonna wrap it up now. I do not debate with facts. If that man says something factual and then it's gonna be presented to put him as toxic or woman hater, I saw all facts and his preference. So if you I get mean, emotional yeah. about that. If you if that triggers you in any type of way, then you need to be an advocate of fixing that. Because ideally, if he said black women are gods, nobody would have had no issue with that. But he said they twerking, they toxic on TV, and this is what we deal with. Now, into the bigger scheme of things, and I'm going to bring this on and shed it out. Chaotic truth and real is right. Black women don't give a fuck about black men. They give a fuck about niggas that they can control. That's why George Florida get attention. That's why the nigga who got them, I don't know where he was at, but he was goddamn beat up his baby mama and he got shot by the police after he attacked him. And then now they riding for him or whatever the case may be. And at the same time, it was another black dude that had no criminal record in Texas that got shot. And then no rise. 
Logic, do you think that black men care about black men? No, we don't. We don't either. Hmm. Okay, I was just wondering because I was. Yep. Like, I, 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 I'm very chaotic. We um, are. We are. We are biggest enemy. Also, and that's why black men get the worst end of the stick because not only we got to compete with each other and we got to be protect ourselves against each other, we also got to protect ourselves against our women. So I say this, the thing that it'll change the dynamic is that woman should be somebody you can trust. You should always be on the defense for somebody else. But if you're dealing with that in your household, it's something different. And lastly, if the shoe was on the other foot, if, if Serena, husband killed her, yep. we'll be still marching now. <laughs> if we <laughs> march. That's what yeah. I said. It would be different. Mr. Logic, and let's, and let's let you know, yeah. and I'm summing all this up, Yeah, our women control our communities. And until our women get in line, you got what you got. The, the, the bigger, the main issue, I mean, I think Q brought it up earlier, and Logic, you pointed it out too, I think. Um, the justice system clearly favors white people. Like that is a, that's a bigger issue that has to do with just racism and prejudice and all types of things. Um, and that's like documented. That's not my opinion. Um, but whenever we start to talk about that issue, people start talking about victim Olympics. No, like, but there you, are clear you, examples. You know, Kayla, I mean, Kayla, proof, instead, but, of in this, instead of discussing what our dialogue we was having, right? You put it, you blamed it on the government. When when we know, we know that, like I said, and I'm saying, I'm calling out the men too. Men kill men. I'm calling them out. But also I'm calling, I'm giving that same energy to the women too. And then now you can easily discuss the point or you can say, you know what? The government is doing it. Um, If I have a, well, let me, what, what logic? I, I want to so, hold on, hold on, okay, if we can get recording. back was... into the murder, do you think logic and chaotic truth that if she was black, killing and stabbing a black man, that she'd be in jail right now? Depends. I, I mean, I worked in law no. enforcement as well, no. and I can tell you that no. there are cases. You don't of think black you women. would be? No. no, because I've worked in law enforcement. And I can tell you, I've, I've I've witnessed situations like this. A lot of black women have done horrific things to black men, and they're out in the streets as well because all because women all they got to do is say, "Oh, he was trying to attack me," uh, and that, and that happens in the black community too with black women. Black women have killed black men before. Let's not pretend that they haven't. Let's be honest. Was that directed to me? Did I pretend? I was asking a question. No, I'm no, I was Courtney. I wasn't. It is it, 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 it in the way we were operate today. A black woman would be free. She would get bail. And it, it, it's across the board. I didn't see niggas, you know what I'm saying? Um, all these rappers and all that, the, all these dudes killing, they get bail. So I, I think that we can't make this a race thing. This is actually, it's what it is. People kill people, and then until they innocent into proven guilty, unless they did something super, super crazy, like mowed down a whole goddamn crowd of people, like they murder? Bail. Innocent until proven guilty in jail when black. Hmm? Baby, it was a, every, every situation is different. In racing, court. It's the black chick that was racing in Birmingham, Alabama, killed a person, went out on bail, started bragging about it on Instagram, and then did multiple lives. Trust me, it, it, right now in this society, they will get bail. Y'all don't, think, y'all don't think that the justice system is unfair. Absolutely I mean, not. Yes. Absolutely not. Our court <laughs> I can't believe this. You guys ask the questions and you're goosing and giggling. I've worked in the courts. Large numbers of black men commit, I mean, I mean, astronomical amounts of crime. They admit to it in rap songs, for God's sakes. The fact of the matter is that if it listen, our court system is based on checks and balances and facts and evidence. Listen. We live in the most advanced country on the planet. Our courts are 
second to none. There are kangaroo courts in other countries. There are extra judicial killings outside of having a fair trial in other in other places on the planet. Why are we pretending like America is a wild jungle? It's not. It's civilized here. A lot of black men, yes, have been wrongly accused of crimes. So has a lot of white men as well. Are you from here? I was born in the great U.S. of A, man. I've been here all my damn life. You don't think there's any? <laughs> I don't think that there is any systemic uh, racial indiscretions in the court. Absolutely not. If typically when you are pulled over by the police, typically you did something wrong. You're especially blacks and blacks play and play this stupid game like, oh, I got pulled over. Nigga, your tags are expired. Nigga, you ain't got no damn license. Nigga, you got too much tent. Stop it. Why do we cap so much as a black people? When I picked up cycling, I was I'm a, I'm a marathon runner. When I picked up cycling and one of my, a couple of my friends are in the chat right now, they could even say it. Niggas would purposely try to hit me and, and uh, run me off the side of the road on the bike road on the bike lanes. Black people break and uh, black people break the damn traffic laws. We gotta stop playing around. We commit crimes. Just admit it. 